This exercise is very similar to the exercise we just did in the last example. Watch that video first and then attempt this one on your own. In this example, we are giving this transfer function and the body plot for this transfer function when k equals to 1. We will attempt to draw the Nyquist plot based on what we see on the body plot here. This relation is clearly explained in the previous example once again. We can look at the strategic points in order to draw this Nyquist plot. The first one is when the frequency tends to zero. When the frequency tends to zero, we can see now that the Bode plot has a magnitude that is less than one. When the frequency tends to zero on the Bode plot, we can see that the phase is zero, tends to zero. And if you go up, you look at the magnitude of the transfer function, we can see that the magnitude is a negative value in decibels. This means that the actual magnitude of the transfer function is less than 1. So for omega tending to 0, we have a phase of 0, and we have a magnitude of the transfer function that tends to a something that is smaller than 1. We don't know exactly what the value is, but we can clearly see that it is smaller than 1. Now we can look at other, other strategic points in order to draw this Nyquist plot. One that is of particular interest is the imaginary axis crossing. We cross the imaginary axis when the phase is negative 90 degrees. If you now look at the Bode plot, we'll see that if you trace a line from negative 90 degrees to the intersection point with the phase and go up, we see that the magnitude of the transfer function is decreasing and is much smaller than one now compared to the other one. Right, because the value in decibels is, is smaller than this one, this means that at this transfer function magnitude at this point is, is smaller than that. Another point of particular interest is the real axis crossing. That occurs when the phase is 180 degrees. If you look at this particular example, we are actually never crossing the 180 degree line, but we are tending to 180 degree. And this happens when the frequency tends to infinity. Notice that when the frequency tends to infinity on the Bode plot, the phase of the transfer function tends to negative 180 degrees. What is the magnitude of the transfer function? The magnitude of the transfer function tends to zero. Why zero? Well, if you look at the plot of the magnitude, it tends to negative infinity dB as the frequency tends to infinity. What it gives a negative infinity value in decibels is the 20 log of a very, very small number, a number that tends to zero. 20 log of a very small number tending to zero is negative infinity in this case. 20 log of a very small number very close to zero is indeed negative infinity. And these are all the points we can gather from the Bode plot. Point one. We can now attempt to complete the Nyquist plot. Let's start with point one. Point one, we have a phase of zero, so we are on the positive real axis, and a magnitude of one. So if this is one, we are around somewhere to the left. Let's put it here. If you now look at a point two, the phase is negative 90 degrees, so we are on the negative imaginary axis, and the magnitude decreased compared to point one. So we should be closer to zero, but now with an angle of negative 90 degrees, should be around here. And at point 3, the magnitude now tends to 0. The phase is negative 180 degrees. We should be on the negative real axis, but now the magnitude, the magnitude tends to 0. So we are actually tending to 0, and we'll go to 0 following a negative 180 degree line. Okay, now connect to these points. We should see something like this. Notice how we go in this clockwise direction because this is the direction in which the frequency increases. From point one to three, the frequency is increasing. We go to point three at zero magnitude, but following that angle of negative 180 degrees. Because the Nyquist plot is always symmetric, we can complete the drawing like that. And here we can draw the negative one point, the famous negative one point of the Nyquist plot. And you can tell that this system is always stable regardless of the value of k. The system has no unstable 
false in the open loop, so p equals to 0. And in this case here, the number of encirclements of negative 1 is also 0 for all values of k. If we increase k, the only thing that changes here is that everything expands up and down, but you see that we are going to 0 following a negative 180 degrees, we will never be encircling negative 1. We may get very close to negative 1 on the edge here, but never encircling negative 1. So the system is always is stable because z equals to p plus n is always 0 for all values of k greater than 0.